we had a lot of rain, and that often brings animals out onto the road. And sure enough, um, I just saw scuttling up the bank on the side of the road a lovely big scorpion. common name of these uh, scorpions uh, is the Thai giant scorpion. The colour of these animals I, I absolutely adore. At first sight it looks black, but when you move in closer, it's, it's a green black, if you can imagine such a thing. It's incredible. This sort of green uh, colour showing through on the exoskeleton there. Uh, because it's an arthropod, all these joints, the jointed legs, and here we can see the jointed body as well. Here on the legs you can see quite clearly they have to have a, a softer part at the joint. When you're covered with a hard shell, of course, uh, movement uh, becomes a big issue, and uh, you need these joints then to be able to move the limbs about, and that uh, requires a softer area in amongst those joints. The exoskeleton, of course, has served the arthropods incredibly well, becoming the most abundant group of animals on the Earth. There's the danger end, as it were, the sting. Uh, although, despite the large size of this scorpion, that sting is not uh, terribly painful. Not much more than a bee sting, apparently. I've never been stung by one myself, but uh, I'm told it's not a particularly terrible experience. Also, these two huge nippers on the front end designed for grabbing hold of prey and uh, bringing them into the mouth parts. I didn't want it to have to be in the open any longer than necessary, so after just a few minutes, I decided to let it go on its way. <laughs> 